Hi, y'all. I just wanted to say, um, for tomorrow's election day, it's very important that you all have to get this drink. People are not voting for um, the establishment. They're not voting for pe because people are telling them to vote a certain way. People are voting for policies, the morals, the values, and the ethics. Either way, you all need to wake up and realize some people are not for um, alt right Bible clinching, constitutional Bible clinching, freedom of speech clinching. That, you guys don't got the freedom of speech part. The reason why we want to ban things from Facebook is creating more hate and more anger. Unless you want to stop that, and if you want to continue it, then go far for me to tell you not to, but you're going to create more hate, more anger from the moderates and the left. And the Christian and slash conservative, compassionate people telling you to please stop the hate and anger. You guys are not getting the point where people are not reading them independent blogs and news sources because all it is is um, opinions um, what you think it should be happening um, with no pictures, no video, no nothing to prove your claims are true. So you all need to wake up. Even the left, yeah, they're bring up the hate and anger too, but the right fake news and rhetoric of um, what could happen is just really pulling on more hate and anger towards the left. You all need to wake up and realize it's not helping our cause, not helping our country, it's only dividing us more. Trump is not dividing us. And so all right left who are angry and um, want to have free speech. That's not working and not helping. And for your Bible clutching, constitutional protection, we need to um, have new ideas, have an open mind and open heart. You cannot just go on hating people. Because you want somebody to do it. So, um, you guys all have to realize Americans want God and Christ back and love. And they want the country back, but they don't want the hate and anger. <coughs> so, you all need to stop with the wild work and hate and anger. And for tomorrow, I'm voting purple wave. I'm voting for um, um, libertarians. Cat Tiff, um, hope is not dead yet for libertarians. For the Republicans, um, only one in New York, I think, has my vote because um, Mandel is totally all laughed. Totally liberal. And um, maybe um, some, um, like uh, Attorney General, he's a Trumpigan. <laughs> and also, um, I'm voting for Joe Morali, who is a conservative Democrat, purple, not blue. He will be willing to work for, with our president. If you give him a chance, instead of hating on him and um, not supporting him, he won't work with you. I'm fine with him, and I know for a fact he is a conservative, not a liberal. There is blue dogs in the Democratic Party. 
We need to all realize that. And I just, I don't love, I don't like how this country is going. And um, also, the right and the NRA, if you guys continue to defend um, military, rep military um, weapons in society, I will never support you. I will never vote for you. All you guys need is a handgun and shotgun. You don't need a um, high-powered rifle or machine gun. That's going to kill more people. Shotguns and handguns do kill people. And lately, the only mass shootings are happening by one person. One. Not a million people. So you all need to wake up and realize high-powered mach high machine guns should be only in the military. I am for the Second Amendment, but only for the handguns and shotguns. We need to revise that um, amendment. And for women's rights, I'm not a woman marcher. I'm not a victim. I'm a Trump girl. Trumpican doesn't mean you're a white person or you're a moderate. Trumpican is now the new party for conservatives who want the old school think back and also um, for open hearts and open mind about issues. I'm for the border wall, yes. I'm for reforming the health care, but we also need to have pre coverage for preconditioned people, vets, elderly, and um, disabled. Because some of them people cannot even work because of their injuries and mental issue issues and physical issues. You guys are so blind to that fact that people cannot work if they're disabled, elderly, and the, um, things. I'm not for the liberal health care. I'm not for abortion. I'm not for any of them liberal gender things. Um, Americans and veterans before the legals. Absolutely. Um, we have to deal with the drug dealers, yeah, drug issue, but I don't want to pay for it. So I, I think that's just, if people want to get help, they need to go to a rehab um, place. Um, maybe I will find that. Maybe I will help them if they go to a rehab center. I will not help them liberal and social programs. Yeah doesn't allow them to get them to the um, rehabilitation centers. Um, I just don't think social programs should be paid with American money. Some social security for that disabled and the um, elderly. But seriously, all white people, let it go. Why can't you just have compassion for your fellow Americans who have disabled disabilities and the elderly and who serve the country who is wounded mentally, physically, or emotionally? That's all I'm asking. Don't be heartless. Also, um, just, I want my country back. I want my God back. I want Jesus back in America. But right now, we're not finding that because the alt-right and the liberal left are making it impossible for us to have compassion and love back in our country. That's all I'm going to say. See ya. Have fun.